So I actually think that there's a future where all of these new tools are basically enabling the same types of people to do twice the amount of work, except the agents are doing most of the reading for them, and they just become high-powered decision engines to say, what do I do with this output that I just got? I think the exact same thing you're seeing, I see in, in private markets as well, right? I think that funds today, you know, an analyst might look at 20 companies before they pick one that they're going to go after. You know, now it's going to be 40, right? Then it's going to be 60, right? So I, I don't think you're going to have fewer analysts, but the speed with which they can review a company and decide if it's for them is going to be so much faster that they'll be able to do smarter deals. So question for you. In the private markets, like our investor is a private equity firm. We deployed our technology on them. The number one question I get is, due diligence sucks. Nobody likes to do it. Everybody has to do it. It's a very mechanical process, if you really think about it. You'll have a bunch of criteria. Every firm, every group has a slightly different take on it, but that's kind of what it is. And that's like one of the first things I think is going to be automated soon, which is take something that nobody wants to do, just give me a bunch of suggestions, rank it for me, tell me why you ranked it, source all your activity, provide me a report, I'm just going to spend two hours in a report, and then instead of me looking at 30 things, I'm going to look at five, even though I looked at twice more companies than I would have before. That's a real use case, and we're seeing that play out right now.